My name is Jerry DiPietro. I live in Koloa, Kauai. I'm a founding member, one of the founding members of GMO Free Kauai and um, a member of Hawaii Seed. Hawaii Seed is our statewide nonprofit that umbrellas all of the GMO free groups on each island. Our mission is to educate consumers, legislators, decision makers, and the general public um, about the health concerns and um, the unintended consequences of genetic engineering. Um, Kauai is the ground zero for these open air field tests um, being conducted by five of the big six chemical corporations. So um, we have a large density of chemical corn, soy, and a number of open air field experiments um, going on on Kauai, Molokai, Oahu, and on Maui. And you know these these fields and these tests are uh, being conducted in our state without any disclosure and no right to know. So um, from our county councils to our mayors to the governor, nobody in our state has the right to know where these tests are occurring. They're spraying seven out of 10 days. They're spraying either individual chemicals or multiple at once. But seven out of 10 days, year round, year after year, um, they are polluting our land. They are engineering the plants to be resistant, herbicide tolerant. And so um, some of the chemicals, you know, we started out with Roundup and Roundup Ready crops. Where the crops can be sprayed liberally and they don't die, um, but they get coated with a huge amount of pesticide. So that has escalated, you know, as weeds have evolved, um, they've had to go to stronger and stronger chemicals. So uh, we do know that here on, on Kauai, they are spraying atrazine, chlorpyrifos, um, dicambra, and 2,4-D. These are some of the worst um, offenders, you know, some of the top, top um, harmful pesticides that shouldn't ever be allowed um, and are actually regulated to not be used near communities, streams, and waterways. And there's very, very little oversight going on um, in our state. We're, we're very isolated. Um, the EPA office is all the way in San Francisco. These fields are right next to communities, right next to schools, adjacent to these places. And nobody is really watching. And like I say, the, the uh, county council and the mayor and the senators and the governor, not even they know where these fields are. And at this experimental and research phase, I think a part of the process is to find the upper tolerance level that these herbicide tolerant uh, crops have. So it's maybe like, you know, try giving it, you know, 10 gallons. Okay, that was all right. Let's, let's double that. Let's double. Let's find how much you can spray. Um, how much will this genetic manipulation actually tolerate? And, you know, the, when you look at the stock reports of these chemical corporations, um, you know, the, the research of the seed and the selling of the seed is one thing, but the majority of the profits are coming from the sale of their licensed chemicals. We, like I say, have five of the chemical corporations here on Kauai, Pioneer, Syngenta, Dow, Monsanto, and BASF. Um, the sixth chemical corporation is Bayer. And while we don't have a corporate office here for Bayer, um, the other five biotech chemical companies use the Bayer product. It's the neonicotinoid seed coating. It goes on the seed before it's planted into the ground. Um, it's there next to the seed in the soil. When the seed sprouts, it's able to systemically, um, you know, input, intake the um, neonicotinoid seed coating. And then it's expressed in every part of that plant. And most disturbingly, the pollen. And, um, you know, nobody's quite sure what's happening with the colony collapse disorder and the honeybee die off. Um, but the neonicotinoid seed coating um, is certainly not helping. You know, the poor bees are, you know, up against the chemical spray, the chemical coating, 
and then the BT pollen. The BT is, um, you know, the crops that are engineered to produce BT. It's an insecticide, so when an insect bites any part of the plant, um, they die. So um, the, the, the problem with this random and broad um, insect elimination is that it kills indiscriminately. It's killing not only the, um, the pests, but also the beneficial organisms. They're using a large amount of our water resources to um, water our important ag land that's not being used for agriculture. It's being used for research. It um, gets categorized as farming, but these guys are not farmers. This is research. This is chemical companies. So a large amount of our water resources, they continually want to drill um, on Oahu. They wanted to drill a new well because the well they currently had um, was tainted by the pesticide spray. They had polluted their own well, so then they want to go somewhere else where there's clean water and bring that into use. And I feel really strongly um, on all the islands that the ag land, the remaining ag land that has not been used for testing should be identified and logged because it needs to make, we need to make sure that that remaining land does not go into biotech testing. The fields that are currently being used for chemical um, corn, we may never be able to grow food on those um, acres again. I have to say that we have a wide range of world advisors um, that know that we are ground zero, they're helpful with us, we're in contact with them, and um, we've had a number of wonderful folks come to our state to do speaking tours, and we've always dreamed of Vandana Shiva. We called this tour Raise Awareness, Inspire Change. We had started on Oahu, and we were able to do an event at UH to really engage the students, to come to them, make it very easy, and um, and connect with the students, with the youth, with the people who um, care and know the importance of taking action for our planet now, not waiting. Um, so that was a really great um, connection and goal we were able to achieve the first day. Um, the next day was the opening of our state legislature and, I, and Bandana's tour was really built with the intention of her being here for the opening of the state legislature. Um, there was a, um, a Heliku march, uh, Heliku means standing upright, and we left from the University of Hawaii Bachman Hall and marched down Britannia Street 2.2 miles to the state capitol and were received by the folks attending the We the People rally at the state capitol. So that was very, very exciting. And um, the most exciting thing I think um, that Vandana Shiva has brought to our state is not only her hope and her love and her um, beautiful depth of knowledge, um, but what Vandana Shiva has brought to our state on this tour is um, moving people to the next step to participate. Kauai was the last stop of the speaking tour and we were the largest. Kauai folks made us so proud. We had an overflow record-breaking attendance at the Kauai Memorial Convention Hall. Um, people were so very, very excited to be there and we estimate we had about 1,800 people. Um, there's never been anything so large there ever. One of the also favorite parts of this tour for me has been that all of the food we have served along the way has been purchased from local farmers. So I feel like we've um, got to spin the wheel again, a little extra by um, being able to support the farmers, purchase from them, because um, we know the value of what they're doing. And um, we hope that, you know, to see the farmer, the locally grown food market expand. So today we're here having um, the first day in a two-day strategy session. Um, we have um, folks from around the state, we're all here gathered together and it's our opportunity to be face to face and also a chance to be very pr productive as we um, share what can be done on multiple islands, what are things that are island specific, 
Um, we'll be talking about how we can um, further our education of the community. Um, we'll be um, identifying things that will help us to um, keep people engaged, to, to let them know when things are happening, to give them opportunities to participate. I feel with our work in the last 10 years, we are at about a 50% mark at becoming a GMO-free state. I don't think the next 50% of our tasks will take 10 years. We are um, gathering momentum, and so I am really excited as I see things accelerate.